Good morning, come on in. This special space at Sacramento City College is all about striving for black excellence. We're not just black during Black History Month. We are black 366 days a year. Launched in 2019, the mission of the Ashe Center is to help students of African descent succeed inside and outside the classroom. We offer counseling, tutoring, peer mentorship. We also have learning community classes. That includes Emoja Sabah. He's probably what I am to you all. We're unapologetically focused on black students. You all are ahead of the game from what we've what we've been in the past. Ken Times runs the program, which prioritizes culturally centric education. We do HBCU college tours, and we have five classes on campus which our, our students take part in. New this summer, a trip to Ghana, West Africa. Study abroad programs in the past have been really focused on European sites, so we wanted to um, bring about some change in terms of uh, being able to enrich our students in their own cultures. Freshman Serenity Bentley is already a regular at the Ashe Center. It's like a home outside of home. She comes here for peer mentoring with other black students. They understand you. They're like, you know, yeah, I've been through this. I know this and I can help guide you through your journey. The Ashe Center exists due in large part to a student here at Sac City College, Taylor McClure. Sadly, Taylor passed away in January, but her legacy lives on. I'm missing uh, just Taylor, uh, her light, her laugh. The loss is painful for Taylor's twin brother, Tyler. After Taylor was killed in a crash on Highway 99, her photos now fill the Ashe Center, which she demanded the college create as a safe space for black students. Balloons spelling out her name show Taylor's impact. To see what she's done and what she's continuing to do with her spirit makes me happy. Tyler, hoping the center carries on with Taylor's vision. As long as people continue to come correct and keep her name alive, she'll rest in power. And that's all I hope for is that as people use her name that they don't forget her legacy. It's a duty that's not taken lightly. It gives us some um, purpose, more purpose, right? It's like we're going to do it for Taylor. We're going to keep the efforts that Taylor started going in the center. It's really important that these spaces continue and that we continue to grow our programs and our offerings for students. But started off as a student's dream. It's like a full circle thing into a reality serving hundreds of black students each semester. Reporting in Sacramento, Orcomana KCRA 3 News, celebrating black history. The Ashe Center has also set up a scholarship in Taylor's name. She was set to graduate this spring, so her family will be accepting a posthumous degree in May.